Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. In today's video, I'm going to compare one course, but two different colleges. One is Algonquin College and one is George Brown College. Both of the colleges have really good professors and the overall courses are also pretty good. But on one hand, where Algonquin College has two years BIM program right now, because they are discontinuing their current BIM program that is BIM lifecycle management program which I have done that was just for one year now they will have BIM lifecycle management Canadian context program and I have made a lot of videos about it so you can go ahead and check it out even I have a video with Professor James Hayes who is the program current program coordinator for BIM lifecycle management Canadian context so you can definitely go ahead and check those out but here we are comparing a two years Algonquin College course with one year of George Brown College course. But we will go over all the courses. We will compare everything. I will even explain you what this course would mean and what this course actually has in it. So without any delays, let's get started with the video, guys. So guys, as you can see on my left, I have George Brown College and in George Brown College, as you can see, there are actually just two semesters and the third semester is basically your field experience. So I'll just go one by one. First is BIM management. Uh, it will uh, give you an overview of like how you will be managing BIM projects and things. I don't think this is the best way to start your BIM journey because a lot of people are very new so I don't know but uh, next one is pre-construction visualization so in BIM most of all and most of the time the visualization is data visualization so getting your schedules ready getting your uh, project outlines ready and everything so that is a very uh, intense thing not like just normal renders so that is a very different aspect but going on to Algonquin College so here you can see introduction to Canadian AECOO industry that is architecture engineering construction industry so these are like just basically overview of how professional practices are carried out over here next is canadian building construction and construction standard that is very important a lot of students don't get jobs because of this specific factor uh, past present influence of canadian architecture so basically going on to the history and all those things so they are going to teach us all these stuff then applied professional communication i think so it's not needed that much because in architecture you usually get to see all this now actual course start over here that is fundamental BIM application I have been through this course so I know they they just go with the basics very basics of uh, BIM in this specific course then BIM tools and technology for design um, again you will be learning a lot of softwares a lot about Revit how it's work and Nevis work and Revit so I, I don't know what all new softwares have come up but these are the overview or blue BIM uh, so these are the things that you will be learning over here now going to the other side where George Brown is uh, you have Revit architecture basically again you will be learning about uh, softwares over here same as you can see BIM tools and technology it is all about softwares next is bim revit structure and mep this specific part can be really good for the engineering students that are coming here um, i don't think so algonquin college covers that uh, i don't know about the new curriculum but here they don't have any mentions about specifically structures and mep so next is workflow and collaboration in algonquin college uh, workflow and collaboration is basically uh, how to manage your cloud models, how to collaborate or how to sync into the cloud and how to create BIM 360 projects. So all these stuff are there in workflow and collaboration. It was one of my favorite subjects in Algonquin College. So BIM Civil 3D. Okay. Uh, George Brown has BIM Civil 3D. So again, for all the people who are coming from 
engineering background this is the software that you need and obviously definitely you might be knowing about this software that is civil 3d but as far as i know algonquin college bim program is more focused towards architecture and they don't teach civil 3d or revit structure or mep that's for sure i know this now going to the introduction to project definition and uh, deliverable for design so you will be creating a lot of uh, documentation that is called bxp that is building execution plan and uh, so on and so forth so these things will be covered in this bim standards and guidelines will basically give you an very detailed detailed information about the overall bim process it will teach you about how you can um, implement bim with keeping international guidelines in mind so there are iso guidelines iso 19650 i think so is the guideline for bim you can go over it i can attach a pdf or something in the description so this is all about standards and guideline it is a bit tough of a subject so it wasn't my favorite one next going to again george brown college you have implementation strategy similar similar to introduction to project definition and deliverable for design as when you can uh, when you go to algonquin college then you have project planning then building energy modeling we did go over energy modeling but it was in green architecture it wasn't in uh, bim which i like that they are covering building energy modeling over here then bim capstone project this i don't know what it stands for i will uh, put down a definition later on in my description but um, yeah we didn't have this now going to the other part the algonquin college part where you can see the remote sensing technologies for bim advanced bim application and innovations so you will be learning about all the modern technologies and things that are happening in bim industry your uh, bim tools and technology for construction and facility management again it is uh, totally software how you can schedule things how you can create a bim model that can help into uh, maintaining the constructed project basically so the life cycle part of the bim life cycle management program comes to this where you will learn how to um, how you can maintain a building using bim and how it can be implemented then again workflow and collaboration my one of my favorite subject this is uh, in this semester you will probably be dealing with a group and you will be working for an entire semester on just one project where you will create a project present a project and then you will be graded out of that then uh, in george brown you have bim techniques 3d scanning basically the first part remote sensing is 3d scanning so field experience preparation so this is the part where they prepare you via mock interviews and all those stuff so this is also a very uh, important part that george brown has and algonquin doesn't and algonquin has four semester so going to the fourth semester of algonquin college where you have bim project seminar here you will be presenting your final year bim project to a group of individual from different industries different industry means construction industry but from private sector and government sectors probably from a big firm or something so you will have that and here your semester definitely ends in uh, george brown here you will be going for your co-op that is very important i have always said this and i will always say it this is very important they have 450 hours of co-op very important part here you don't have that here you have bim applied projects that is basically again the final year projects where you will be uh, like presenting your skills that you have learned basically that now construction business management i have no clue what is this but it seems pretty interesting it is online that they have added 
I think so. This will be done during you are uh, taking your field experience and doing your co-op. So construction business management is online. Leadership and ethics in construction manager again online, which is very good. I like this. Here also you have career development in Canada and BIM applied projects. So now coming to the uh, fee part, George Brown has their fee to twenty six thousand dollars. Man, that's expensive for just one year course. Let's see for Algonquin two years course. Oof, it's not less either. It is thirty seven thousand one hundred and sixty four dollars for international student. Ah, that's painful, guys. I <laughs> I can say that. But obviously, as you can see, the George Brown course is a little bit expensive, but. Um, my scale is tilting a little bit towards towards george brown college i don't know but let's talk in detail now so we just went over both the courses one by one i hope i was able to explain you what means what and what these courses cover but as you can see uh, algonquin is a two years course so obviously they have a lot more that they will cover they will teach you even the basics of professional practice i feel personally that algonquin college course will be a good course for anyone who is a fresh graduate from india or anywhere around the world who haven't had any experience in architectural industry or who doesn't know about the professional industry construction industry so i think so that will be a good course for those people but george brown has a upper edge on algonquin because they are covering almost the same thing in one year plus i have always mentioned this thing in my videos everywhere and all the time you can just go ahead and check all my videos that co-op is a very important thing and george brown does have co-op in one of their semester they do create a mock interview kind of environment where they call representatives from actual companies to hire student for 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 co-op and some of the students even end up working for those same company after getting graduated from these courses so it's a good opportunity for all the students all the international students that are coming here because guys from my personal experience i'm not bad with softwares okay i am really good with softwares i am really good with what i do i'm really passionate about it it took me 3 and a half months just to find a job it was that painful for me and same uh, and similar thing is happening with a lot of students here lot of students like because of the construction industry that is not doing that well and thanks to the current government over here the scenarios are not very good for architects and uh, people coming from india with no experience i would be very frank with you all so if you are coming here i would definitely say just take those courses that give you an opportunity to have a co-op because what happens in a co-op if you get a co-op you can show your work your work ethics how you deal with work environment stress how you handle different softwares do you whatever you say on your resume is it even true or not because you have done co-op you have just worked for 6 months but or 3 months or 2 months whatever months you have worked in the field on the site or on a project for that particular one or two months or three months that will be a game changer for everyone and other thing is the fee difference so as you can see like george brown is also very expensive it's not cheaper than algonquin college i would say algonquin college giving a two years course in 37000 is a good deal it's not at all a bad deal for given scenario and given course costing everywhere around ontario especially so i would say it's your choice <laughs> finally i am not going to uh 
go for like you know like go go with Algonquin College it is the best thing for you but I would say co-op is very important if you have some experience in India go for a course with co-op and rest the decision is up to you I'm here to help you if you have any kinds of doubts or queries or anything go ahead mention it in the comment section and I am here to help you all and if you like this video if you liked my review if you like how I portray things, how I try to support you all. Go ahead, hit a like and subscribe to my channel. The only thing that is keeping me on to this track with my full-time work and my part-time work and everything that is going on in my life is just all of you. You guys are the only encouragement that I get. I'm not even making a lot of money on YouTube, frankly speaking. So... It's just for it's just for helping you all because I didn't get proper help, proper guidance when I needed it. Um, so max I could do is help you all or help people with my experience. So go ahead, hit a like and subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll see you soon, guys. Bye bye.